He's been one of the top-ranked tennis men for nearly two decades. Now, after struggling with a knee injury, Roger Federer said next week's Laver Cup in London, a tournament he himself created, will be his last professional event. I also know my body's capacities and limits, and its message to me lately has been clear. I am 41 years old. I've played more than 1,500 matches over 24 years. Tennis has treated me more generously than I ever would have dreamt, and now I must recognize when it is time to end my competitive career. Roger Federer was just 19 when he beat his idol Pete Sampras on the grass courts of Wimbledon in 2001. He would go on to win the tournament a record eight times, earning himself a special place in its history. Roger, where do we begin? We will so miss the sight of you gracing our courts, but all we can say for now is thank you for the memories and joy that you have given to so many. Altogether, the Swiss player won 20 Grand Slam titles and spent a record 237 consecutive weeks in the ATP's number one slot. He increasingly came to share the limelight with Serbia's Novak Djokovic and Spain's Rafael Nadal, with whom he is particularly close. Dear Roger, my friend and rival, I wish this day would have never come. It's been a pleasure, but also an honor and privilege to share all these years with you. Although he started out an unruly player prone to swearing, Federer developed a reputation for sportsmanship and for being a family man. He and his wife have two pairs of twins who follow him on tour. With the player's announcement coming hard on the heels of Serena Williams' retirement, tennis has lost two of its greatest this season.